Technician 775 here. I was digging around and found they had a 25-pound uh, bag of red wheat. Also, too, uh, remembered I had, okay, I can get the scissors here. I remember I had some four-gallon square buckets that were uh, cat litter buckets. Uh, as you know, as you've seen some of the other videos, we have quite a few cats. And uh, uh, we used to get the buckets of uh, cat litter like this from Sam's Club, and they switched over a few years ago, and I had a bunch of these upstairs. Never could find a lid. Finally found a lid that has a, the gasket in there. Uh, you can find lids, but it's hard to find the ones with the gasket where I can actually reuse the buckets because they're just about brand new. As I would uh, empty them out of the cat litter, I'd rinse them out and put them upstairs you know, in the uh, in the garage. And I got these lids, uh, several places had them. Uh, the best place um, was Best Materials out of Phoenix, Arizona, uh, bestmaterials.com. I think uh, 15 of these was uh, like $30. Um, yeah, they're not cheap. The freight was seventeen seventy-seven, which was outrageous for a small box. I don't think I'll be buying any more from those guys uh, unless I want to reuse some more buckets, but... Um, I, it is what it is. Uh, you know, it's. Uh, anyways, uh, getting back to this. This is some. This is the 25 pound bag of red whole wheat, the wheat berries. And uh, I got this from LDS here oh, a while back. And what I'm going to do, uh, when I do medium term uh, food storage, I did a lot of the long term, which I packaged in the number 10 cans and also in the five gallon uh, buckets with the uh, food grade uh, eight mil Mylar bags. Okay, I've pretty much got all my long term stuff uh, packaged up and I'm going for a medium term and what I consider medium term is oh, up to five years. And a lot of people actually say, oh no, you can't store wheat or anything in just a plastic can. Yes, you can up to about four to five years. Um, there is a personal friends of mine that's had stuff uh, uh, wheat, corn, and some of the other stuff in buckets, uh, sealed up of course, uh, with brand new lids, you know, for five years and open them up and the stuff is still good. So with that, their experience and knowledge, what I'm going to do, I think this 25 pound bag will just about fill this up. I'll probably put, oh, five oxygen absorbers in there and uh, this is a uh, locking uh, snap shut lid and to get it open, I think there's a, a pull tab and you pull it open uh, and, it, and it locks it in place. Almost uh, basically about the same thing as a uh, five gallon bucket, except these are square and you don't lose as much room. I like these and if I'm not mistaken, this bag should fill this up just to about the top. So uh, short of me getting this everywhere, and um, I hope I don't. Alrighty. That was a good start so far. Alright, and this is a red wheat. They've got the white wheat and a red wheat. And actually pretty good looking wheat. And I see a few, a few little stems and sticks. But I probably got just a handful in that bag. And this is going to work out perfect. Um, maybe I should have kept more uh, litter, cat litter buckets there for future use. And I think you can buy the buckets brand new. I'm pretty sure you can uh, with the lids already. You might be able to get a uh, really good deal on that. Okay, so that's in there. And like I said, this is going to be up, up to about a five-year shelf, uh, shelf storage uh, life. I'm not going to go past that. When this thing starts getting about four years, I'll actually start grinding the wheat. You know, and uh, and using it. Now this is the red wheat, which is uh, pretty uh, pretty strong flavored. They have the white wheat, uh, which is a hybrid. And you can, I hope you can see this. All right. Uh, and this is from LDS, a 25 pound bag, and it fills this up to its spot perfect. And the five gallon buckets when we're doing the mylar, it was about 35 pounds, if I'm not mistaken, thereabouts. And um, this is just uh, just about perfect. So. All right, what I'm going to do is, okay, oxygen absorbers, uh, one, two, and we'll do five, three, four, five. And I should have put some diatomaceous earth in there. I normally do. Uh, hey, we have some right here. Just got some, just happened to have some diatomaceous earth right here. It's organic diatomaceous earth. My wife uh, buys this and uh, eats a little bit of it now and again. Hadn't killed her yet, so I guess it's all right. Okay, about the only thing we need is a uh, little scooper of some sort. And let me see if I can come up with something here in my little bag of stuff. All right, more than what I need. 
but we'll just kind of sprinkle this in there and it'll you know, I'll, I'll shake the, the bucket around and this will actually get down into the wheat not that I think we'll have any problem with the bugs or anything but you know be a little bit on the safe side I'd hate to have extra protein in there but we probably eat so much extra protein that uh, that's not even funny so I'm gonna go ahead and remove these I guess I should have done this the right way instead of the this way okay and I'll kind of work that in there a little bit <coughs> it probably could have put a scoop at the bottom a scoop in the middle and a scoop on top to get it in there but this will this will work its way down in the bucket because the bucket will be moved around and this and that so okay three four and five what do you think we need six now nah, five I think it'll be good okay make sure the edge is good all right now I'll set this on the floor and hit this with my trusty hammer hopefully it'll seal okay alrighty oh sorry for the noise but it seemed to seal quite well all right now this is a uh, plastic can cover and it's a I think it's a roll pack uh, pail so but they uh, for the most, most part pretty universal you know I'll go in and check it tomorrow and see if it's actually uh, sucked down like it's supposed to and if it didn't I guess I got about forty dollars worth of covers I can't use anyways that's me sealing up 25 pound bag of wheat berries in a cat litter bucket uh, as long as the cat litter wouldn't use okay this is Technician775 saying thank you very much, and we appreciate all the comments, and, and please subscribe.